Well, welcome back to more Space Engineers, and today we are going to be building a little bit of a miner. Okay, so now that we've gotten this thing set up, what we're doing is we're going to head, we're going ahead and putting in a uh, landing gear to hold the frame together. So what we're going to do is we just need to grab a few more parts, get this thing finished. Okay, so now that we've got that done, yay, <laughs> we have a landing gear. So now let's go ahead and drop this stuff off. And what we're going to do is, as I said earlier, we're going to start working on a, a new mining craft. And it's not going to be any mining craft. It's going to be a little mining craft. Of course, I am starting to run out of a little power there. But now, let's see if we can get this thing to work. Did it grab? I think it grabbed. Looks like it. Uh, yes, I'm going to assume that it is actually secure, so let's go ahead and build this up a little bit, make it a little easier to work with, because we're going to have to have a little bit of room under there when we go to place the thrusters on it so we can get this thing out of here without destroying everything. So, let's see here, uh, do I want to put a flight seat in, or do I want to put in... I'm thinking we may do the easy way. Oh, yeah, let's do it the slightly, well, maybe cheaper way. Why is this not letting me... Oh, need the plates. Okay, let's grab a few of those. Come back here. We're going to put the seat on here. Now, what I'm going to end up doing is, once I get this thing on in right position, we're going to go ahead and put this in, and we're going to put a remote block in, a remote control block. Now, what this will allow me to do is to basically sit in the seat and control the the uh, the mining craft without the need of putting an actual cockpit in. Now, I will probably come back at some point and change this design, uh, but for now, let's see here. I want to put a couple more blocks in here. Maybe. Let's uh, let's change this up. Yeah. Give us a little. Give us a little bit of a uh, a little styling on the ship. Weld that up. Let's see here, and we want the drills. Go ahead and. Hmm. Really, why are you not? Okay, I don't have got steel plates. Well, huh? Really? Well, that's silly. So it'll attach like this. Did they change the collision box on these? Hmm. I wonder. Okay. So you're not letting me attach to either side, but you'll let me attach up on the top. This is... Right, maybe it's just not enough surface for this? I'm gonna be mad if they uh, they set it up so we can't record on... or so we can't uh, <laughs> record. So we can't actually get that drill bit on there. Okay, that's really annoying. Oh. Now, it's been a while since I've had to build one of these, so they I'm guessing they changed something? Because I don't remember it not allowing to be mounted on the flat side like that. And, okay, so let's go ahead and put a gyro on this thing. I don't know if it's just that it's blocked or what. Uh, let's slap this little beastie. Yeah, yeah, we'll put it there. It's fine. It works. We don't need much. 
go ahead and get this thing set up. Grab a few more parts. Should be everything, I think. There we go. Awesome. Now, do we have... I'm gonna throw that out. Let's go ahead and grab a reactor. And we're gonna put, a, I think we're gonna put a couple of these down just to make sure we have enough power. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go with two for now. Yeah, so we're gonna need some metal grids. We're gonna need components, specifically reactor components and computers, I think it was. So grab those, grab those, and we got a couple of these. Okay, that should do it. Thankfully, these things are cheap to build, so you can put a bunch of them in here, not have to worry too much about it. I may have to come back and add a few more, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, I probably should put, what do you think? Yeah, it should work. We're going to go ahead and build out a little bit of a frame here, I think. Because what we're going to do is, this is where we're going to attach our thrusters at. Hmm. Checking to make sure we're not going to have an issue with the, uh, the thrust and reverse thrust basically burning stuff off. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab these. Alright. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, it just went dark. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Out of power. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go get, let's go get ourselves <laughs> charged up. Can't believe I did that. All right. Well, now you know what happens when you run out of power. <laughs> if you didn't know already. <laughs> What's sad is you're all sitting there looking at the screen, probably yelling for the last like five minutes. How? You need to pay attention to your power supply, buddy. All right. So let's get this. Let's get charged up here. Oh, but at least you get to see what the the red ship is starting to look like. As you can see, we took off the top deck. Uh, we've changed up the detailing there a little bit on her. But we really do need to get um, just a few more items here. Just shuffle this stuff around so we we have it all together. Makes it a little bit easier when we go to go looking for things. Especially since we're getting so low on materials gonna have to uh, definitely do a resource run here in the near future oh okay so we've got power let's grab some oxygen really quick I'm gonna close this because uh, we don't want the in case we do something wrong we don't want to have everything depressurized Uh, we're in low O2 here. Huh. And now we have none. Why are we depressurizing? Oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this working. What we're going to do is we're going to end up with, I don't know, like four or five uh, re re retro thrust. Yeah, three there, four and five lift thrusters. Go ahead and put these in. We got four, four just you know propulsion set thrusters. Now, when we're mining, um, I don't want if we're in like on a moon or something like that, something with minor gravity, that the ion thrusters will still work with. We're going to want to make sure that we have enough thrust to uh, be able to back ourselves off of whatever we're drilling. Otherwise, you know, it's going to cause problems. Okay. 
We don't really need a whole lot of descent thrusting. I'd put this in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to also figure out... Mm, pardon me. Uh, we're going to figure out what we want to do for our uh, lateral thrusters. We're going to have to figure out where we want those. So we just need thruster components. And grab... I think I have some. Uh, reactor components. I'm not seeing any. I thought I had some left. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's see here. I can never remember. They keep changing these icons. There they are. Okay. Oh, I think I've got what we need for this. I just see if we can get 10 of these out of here. Everything good? Gold? That's ah, gold we need. Alright. What do we have that we ha can get gold out of? Uh, superconductors. You get a good deal of gold out of those. Okay, so let's go over here. We're going to disassemble a couple of these. Probably go ahead and do, uh, I don't know, like three or four of them. Oh. Alright. Breaking down, breaking down. Come on. All right. Is that enough gold? You know what? Do a few more of these. And what we're going to do is once we get enough of these broken down, we'll be able to make thruster components. And I don't think the thruster components actually take that much. So um, let's kick over here really quick. Yeah, see, that was all I needed. I think I'm going to need a few more of these, but we're not going to worry about them right now. If we need them, we'll make more. We have extra gold now. <laughs> all right, so let's go get these thrusters on here. Because we want to be able to fly. Fly like an eagle. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get the couple of these going. I want to make sure we have a couple in each direction, um, at least for now, that are welded up. Because we want to be sure that we're not going to have an issue with uh, control, so. It's just large steel tubes. Should have a few of these. Now, my idea when I'm building these things, I've had a couple of people ask me about ship designs. Um, when it comes to things like mining craft, I personally like the large miners for when I'm just doing things on my own. Uh, but when I'm doing things with like uh, this, where we're doing a, like a recorded series, I'm probably gonna stick with the small miner for a while. Because once you get the large miner, it, it's kind of game over at that point. Large miners just pull in so much material that it's not really a challenge anymore. Um, once you have them, you, you've, you're really kind of done at that point because then it's just... Hmm. Eh, it's on the wrong block. Okay, that's better. We do need to make a few more of the uh, components, it looks like. Uh, but yeah, like I said, once you have large miners, because they, they pull out so much material, at that point it really is just a waiting game on getting materials processed and turned into parts. You really don't have a whole lot to strive for. Uh, so I'm thinking that we're going to keep, we'll probably keep the small miner. Um, I may make a large miner later. Like if we get to the point where we're going to build a, a giant base or something like that. But let me know what you think about it down in the, the comments. If you like large miners, let me know. If you think that they're OP, you can let me know that too. If you just think uh, small miners are a waste of time, hey, that's a valid opinion. <laughs> You're welcome to share it. All right, so a few more of these. Get this one welded up, get that welded up. 
And... Is that everything? Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Pardon me, it's middle of the night. <laughs> All right. I try not to do that on on camera. I may even, I may go back and cut it out. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway. Oh yeah. So let's see if we can get this thing set up. Go here. Go there. And yeah, sure. Why not? Now, if I wanted to make this a little bit more compact, well, it wouldn't be more compact, but if I wanted to clean it up a little bit so that we could put armor on it and wrap armor around this thing, I would actually reposition a bunch of these simply to uh, have it so everything's basically on one level, at least for the, the things that are in each side. So like with the, the laterals to so the left and right, um, I would reposition them so that they were all t basically um, on the same block level. Um, and maybe space out things a little bit differently so that we could wrap armor around it. But uh, yeah, no, this, this works for now, I think. So I think what we're going to do is let me go ahead we'll do a quick cut i'm gonna finish getting some of this stuff in because i want to get the um was it the remote block in which we're going to end up putting right here let me grab that really quick and then uh, this is basically going to just be now me shuttling parts back and forth getting some of this stuff figured out and getting the drills attached so i'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut and we will be right back and we are back. So I've gone ahead, as you can see, I've got the uh, the drills on here. We've gone ahead and put a couple of small cargo containers on, and I am now doing the pipe work. Get all of this set up. We've cut the uh, the umbilical on the bottom, so that's all been cleaned up a little bit. I did take the ship out for a, just a quick flight, just to make sure everything was working okay. Now that we have everything sorted, this should be good. All right, so need to get this going. Now, what I wanted to do is have that conveyor, one conveyor feed the other conveyor so that we could get um, basically drop material in like, oh, <laughs> need to get that updated. Yeah, so we'd be able to drop in things like uranium now that we, we have everything under power and basically have it just feed itself back through but i may end up doing a redesign so can i not get this thing all right fine <laughs> you don't want to work with me work against me okay oh look at that i've got a straight on one side to turn on the other huh. all right oh well whatever it doesn't matter it works <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'll probably come back and clean that up at some point. It is kind of funny that it worked out that way. And okay, yeah, everything's working. Now, we have our remote block in. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the seat here. Since we are under power, I get char I get my uh, my charge back. Right. And. I think that is everything. Let's see here. We're going to come over here to the control block. Drills. So we're going to go ahead and do a grouping on these. Before I forget, I am horrible about that. All right. So remote control block, we're going to grab control. That allows us to start setting up grouping. Uh, you know me, I always like having the ability to turn my reactors on and off. Thrusters. Toggle those on and off. 
And our drill. Oh wait, no, I, I want to do this under weapons. Grab this, drop it here, and because we're putting it in the first block, uh, this will give us the right and left functionality, just like with a regular drill. So left, left click and hold will drill materials and collect them. Right click will do the area removal. Okay, so I think everything is good at this point. There we go. And watch ahead. Okay. So we've got a mining ship, hopefully. Let's see how well this works. I'm kind of curious now. So remember, if you left click, you're going to actually be able to harvest. This is the one nice thing about having it in that position on the uh, hot bar is that you get to use the shortcuts. Um, see how much clearance we're getting here. I don't know if that's going to be enough clearance or not. I mean, uh, I don't know. So how much did we get out of that? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. What? Oh yeah, I can't drop it in there. That's funny. The drills can hold, you know, like seven times <laughs> what the cargo container can hold. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's grab let's grab a bit more iron. See what we can load this thing up with. A, we need a diggy diggy hole song for space. I guess I could just use the diggy diggy hole song, huh? <laughs> Oh, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of this iron. Oh, it's nice having resources again. Yeah, edge in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more of this, um, and I will be right back. And we're back. So I've gone ahead and unloaded all the iron, um, quite a bit of it, actually. So what we're going to do is I'm putting an antenna on this thing so that will allow me to remote control it. Like actually remote control it. I'll be able to be say up on the bridge of this ship and have flight controls over this thing. But we need to figure out where we want to put the antenna. I'm kind of not wanting it on the top because you know we have to worry about it getting knocked off while we're mining. But this area should work. No, I don't. It doesn't really matter which way you have it facing. It's just uh, personal preference. And we'll this thing up. Uh, we need components. Okay. Grab this really quick. Go ahead and get these things set up. There you go. Now, the added benefit of this is when I am actually on the ship, like when I'm piloting the uh, the little runabout now, we'll also get the uh, signal, the mining signal, from the ship once we get this installed. <laughs> Always have to build big antennas at some point, right? It's nice because it actually helps you uh, find your ship later. Okay, so let's mount this here. Yeah, let's flip it around. It's fine. And we should have the stuff for the antenna. Boop. It looks good. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and start welding this up. See what we can get out of it. Well, not a whole lot. Okay. <laughs> Let's go grab the rest of the materials. I should have materials here. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Let's make what we need. Move those out of the way. Because I think we are completely out of nickel at this point. Oh, that's going to be rough. Right. 
get some of this stuff queued up. Oh, there we go. There's a whole lot of red coming in. So, let's go ahead and get this done. Just gonna need some more large steel tubes. I think I have some of those. I don't know. Oh yeah, we got plenty. Look at that. That's all we need. Okay. So... Once the iron we harvested earlier is done re uh, refining, what we'll be able to do is keep making blocks. And this is why I was saying earlier that the uh, the large drills, in my opinion, are kind of OP. Because you can just pull so much material out. Um, for, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, the, the, the mining drills have two sizes. There's a small ship size, which is what you saw on the current runabout. Uh, and then there's a large drill size that mounts onto things like this ship. And the, using those, man, these guys are getting close. Uh, I might have to deal with them. All right, let's hope we don't. Uh, but yeah, so the large drills are significantly larger. They're basically like the size of this room. Oh, go ahead and close this thing up while we're getting everything done. Because we may need we may need to run quickly, and if we do, I want to have want to have this portion of the ship at least secure. All right, those uh, those things are starting to freak me out a little bit. Let's go ahead and close this up. We're gonna head up to the. Uh, I was thinking we were gonna head up to the bridge, but. See, that whole uh, raid in progress thing is what's got me worried. Because I don't think they can detect us from this far out. I thought you had to be within like th 3 or 4k. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I am uh, definitely not liking this. Because we don't really have any defenses on the ship. But on the flip side, you at least get to see uh, more of the ship <laughs> design. <laughs> See, look at that. Yeah, they they're, they are getting closer, I think. Right. Everything down here... Yeah, it's good. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. It does look like they're heading basically towards us. Crap. Okay, well, um, I think this is a good place to call this one. I am going to uh, sit here and freak out and maybe take some pot shots at these guys. I want to thank you for stopping in today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down in the section below. And if you really want to help out and haven't done so already, be sure to share and subscribe to the channel. Not only does it help the channel to grow, but it lets me know that you're enjoying the content and well. That's what I'm here for. If you're not enjoying it, I'm not enjoying it. Um, both of us are doing something wrong, so. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a terrific week, and we will see you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Hmm. I wonder if I have enough ammo for this.